Well, I'm a representative of the Great Plains Arts and Music Festival, and we are an organization trying to bring together artists and musicians from the local area and around to be able to express themselves and their messages to the world. I'm here live today in downtown Lawrence with Andrew Hoyt of the Wing Wagon, the kid, uh, the kid from a small town in Lawrence, Kansas, who had a dream to one day own a food truck, and he finally did it. Yeah. yeah. Now, Andrew, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what came before all this? Oh, sure. I'm glad to. Um, thanks for having me. I uh, started w working in the restaurant industry here in Lawrence, Kansas at the age of 16 and uh, went on to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Came back to Lawrence, Kansas and shortly thereafter uh, I had a career change, so to speak, where I knew that um, I needed to get away from the restaurant industry, but I still had that creative desire and so thusly the Wing Wagon was born. Now, can you tell me a little bit about where you came up with the name Wing Wagon? Because that's a very creative name. I ha hadn't even thought of that before. Thank you. Uh, well, the wings on the side of the wagon actually fold down, and uh, the name of the Wing Wagon happened when I got on the wagon. So <laughs> um, that's how that's how it came to be. Now, you're currently located in Lawrence. Do you plan to continue in just this area, or do you want to breach out to the surrounding areas? Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, provide local uh, events and uh, do private catering for people within the area. All right. And what, what made you really decide to move out of the restaurant industry in its entirety? Uh, well, um, due to that change of life of, of quitting drinking, you know, it, it occurred to me that... Um, the restaurant industry was probably not the best place to to <laughs> continue my career. I was lucky enough to uh, work for the Greek community on the KU campus for over a decade. Uh, during that time, I had the summers off, so that allowed me some additional time to build this and to hopefully get it up and going. And this, honestly, it, it it's beautiful, but it kind of uh, feels not store-bought. Did you build this yourself or uh, can you tell me a little bit about how you gathered the pieces to make this amazing contraption behind us? Well, unlike going out and purchasing a, you know, a complete food truck, um, I decided that it would be in my best interest to build it from scratch. That way I didn't go into a whole lot of debt. Uh, so it's been pieced together for Oh, over a decade now, like the sinks were given to me by a, a local uh, bar owner here in town, the Red Lion. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, I've had the smoker for probably 10 years, and we took it apart and then welded it to the frame and added another smoker to it. You can't tell, but there's uh, two burners back there. This thing here is a box cart that was put together for me by uh, a local friend. And then on top, there's a, a coffee wood um, butcher's block that was made by another friend here so uh, I can't say that I've done this alone I've done it through the support of many friends and colleagues and uh, I'm so grateful to have them uh, as part of this journey I mean hey we all need help I mean the whole Great Plains Arts and Music Festival it was created with one man with a dream Tom uh, Filer on his own he's been trying to bring together this for about the same amount of time over a decade even just paying off the equipment himself and uh, we wouldn't really be here without him so yeah I'm so grateful for this opportunity to uh, you know get my name out there and to serve the community and uh, just take part in this exciting event well thank you and so you say you want to serve the community where do you really see yourself going in the next five years or ten years even uh, well this is you know the first rendition of the uh, wing wagon but uh, what I like to do really is focus on private catering events, uh, servicing anywhere from 50 to 500 people. Um, so that's really the niche that I that I want to go for. Well, thank you so much for your wonderful story. I honestly can't wait to s try some of this wonderful food. It smells delicious. All right, thank um, you so much. I am Seamus Sarton from the Great Plains Art and Music Festival, signing off.